Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to factorise quadratics. Here we'll be dealing with simpler expressions that do not involve coefficients. A coefficient is simply a number before x squared. This could be 2, 3, 4, 20, it doesn't really matter. The approach is a bit different and will be dealt with in a later video. But for now, let's start with the first example. Here we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Your first step is to open up two sets of brackets. You place an x here and you place an x here. Your next step is to look at this last number, which is a 9, and you want to find the factors of this number. Remember, factors are just pairs of numbers that multiply together to give you 9. So in this case, the factors of 9 are simply 9 and 1, or 3 and 3. You then look at this number, which is a plus 6. Then using the factors that we just listed here, we choose the pair that adds or subtracts from each other to give us this plus 6. 9 and 1 can't be added or subtracted from each other to give you 6 in any way. But if we do 3 plus 3, this gives us 6. So this is the pair that we use, and we simply put a plus 3 here, and a plus 3 here. Just to reiterate what we just did, you first open up two brackets, you put an x here, and an x here. You then look at this last number. You list the factors of this number. You then choose the pair that adds or subtracts from each other to give you this plus 6. And you're done. Let's go to the next example. Here we have x squared plus 4x plus 3. Your first step, again, is to open up two brackets, place an x here, and place an x here. Then you look at this last number, which is a 3. You list the factors of 3, which in this case is just 3 and 1. You then look at this number, which is a plus 4, and then using the factors that we just listed, how can I use this pair to add or subtract from each other to give me plus 4? Well, you just do 3 plus 1. So you put a plus 3 here and a plus 1 here. The next example. Here we have x squared plus 2x minus 3. So your first step again is to open up two brackets. place an x here and here, then again look at the last number. For now ignore the sign, we'll deal with it later. But again, using the 3, just list the factors, which is just 3 and 1. You then look at this number here, which is a plus 2. Now we need to use 3 and 1 to make plus 2. Or we can just do 3 minus 1. So you put a plus 3 here and a minus 1 here. Note, 3 multiplied by minus 1 gives us the minus 3 that is required here. And 3 minus 1 gives us the plus 2 that is required here. For the next three examples, I do recommend pausing the video and trying them yourself, and then comparing your work to mine. So let's get started with the first example. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 15. Open up your two sets of brackets again, place an x here and place an x here, then look at your last number, which is a 15. You want to list your factors of 15, which in this case is 15 and 1, and 5 and 3. You then look at this number, which is a plus 8, and we need to see which pair adds or subtracts from each other to give you the plus 8. Well, 15 and 1 can never make 8, but 5 plus 3 gives us the positive 8 that we need. So we put a plus 5 here and a plus 3 here. The next example, we have x squared minus 6x plus 5. So open up two brackets, place an x here and place an x here. Again, look at your last number, which is a 5. List the factors of 5, which are, in this case is simply 5 and 1. You then look at this number, which is a minus 6. 
How can I use this pair to give me minus 6? Well, we could do minus 5, minus 1. Because minus 5, minus 1 gives me minus 6. And minus 5 times minus 1 gives me positive 5. The same positive 5 that is needed here, the same negative 6 that is needed here. Therefore, this pair works. So you put a minus 5 here and a minus 1 here. And it's solved. The last example. We have x squared minus 3x minus 18. Open up two brackets. Place an x here and place an x here. Then look at the last number. Again, ignore the sign of this number. We'll deal with that later. Just list the factors of 18, which in this case are 18 and 1, 9 and 2, and 6 and 3. You then look at this number, which is a minus 3, and we have to pick the pair that can add or subtract from each other to give you minus 3. Well, 18 and 1 can never make minus 3. 9 and 2 also can never make minus 3. But if we do minus 6 plus 3, we get minus 3. And if we do minus 6 times positive 3, we get minus 18, the same negative 18 that is required here. So this is the pair that we use, and you put a minus 6 here and a plus 3 here. And that is the end of this video.